Okay, hello everyone. It is Tuesday, the 8th of January. I'm live with Robin and Jason of the Disbury family. We're coming to you today to give you an update of things to come for 2019, um, a little bit of what happened at the end of 2018, um, and to give you a full synopsis of the forecast of everything that's going on between the two events. We've got the Birmingham Convention in Kidderminster at the beginning of September. And we've also got the Amsterdam Convention at the end of September. Um, so there's a lot of bits and pieces to go through. Um, I'm going to give everyone a little minute to get into the chat room, get themselves settled. Um, you're going to want to take maybe some pen, paper, get your pen and papers ready to take some notes because we've got a lot of information to give you. Robin, hello. Jason, hello. How are you, my darlings? Thank you for joining me. This is the, the first time I've been live um, in 2019, I think. My first live of 2019. Ooh. Fantastic. <laughs> yep. So happy new year, I think. Happy new year. <laughs> <laughs> if it is. How are you doing, guys? Really well, thank you. And you, Jason? Yeah, yeah. I'm uh, doing really well. Um, I'm just ready and raring to get started on this brand new year and um yeah see what we can do for 2019 yes can't yes. wait to hear all about it as i was saying um the end of 2018 was was really cool on the 30th of december as people already know um we went to speakers corner on the 30th of december and um, lots of other people came down that hadn't been there since oh probably the end of the summer actually um i think in total we had probably about a dozen dozen of us there um, on the streets, having conversations with people, and funnily enough, on the same day, Robin, you were out in your local park, so we did a bit of simultaneous awareness that day, didn't we? We did, although mine was just two conversations, I managed to film one. Mm. It's what you call a, a good conversation. I like it when someone comes up to your uh, banner and it just mm. turns into a full-flown conversation, so yeah, it was really good. And I think, you know, doing it repeatedly in one location actually spreads the word and people get to yeah. know who, who's this guy with his banner in the park. <laughs> you know? So You're it's good fun. Right. Absolutely right. And you, Jason, I got an update on my um, YouTube that morning at in the middle of the night o'clock. I think it was about half four or five. You <laughs> yeah. were going to the station. You had a monumental journey that day to get up to Speaker's Corner, didn't you? Yeah, I did. I um because I, I wasn't sure I was going to go or make it and that, and um, I, I'm, I'm not sure what happened, but um, I, I think it was a couple of nights before I just decided, that's it, I'm definitely going. Um, it's the end of the year. Um, you, it, Speaker's Corner happened, you know, like, um, was it New Year's Eve or the day before New Year's Eve? The day before, Eve? just the day before. Yeah, year. and uh, it was a journey. It was the end of the year that just, it, it was a must. We had to close it and finish it properly. And Speaker's Corner was the obvious choice. And uh, so, yeah, four o'clock this mo four o'clock in the morning, I left. Mm. Um, because, I, well, the wife had the car and, you know, we've only got one car. So um, the, all the trains didn't fit in time-wise. So I had to bus it and uh, um, economy class. <laughs> wow. but, so yeah, four o'clock in the morning. And the problem is, is that um, I phone in a taxi and it, it, you get these challenges and four o'clock in the morning, you're like, there's no taxis, no no one wants to get out of bed. And um, yeah. I had to walk an hour to, um, what's it, to where the, the coach was picking me up and, you know, like, and then, uh, oh God, it was a, a long day to try and uh, get there. And, oh God, if, if, if things could go wrong, things went wrong, you know, like for me to try and get there. And uh, But anyway, mm. we... Once we um, um, got to Speaker's Corner, how amazing it was. It mm. was um, it, it was fantastic, it was. Yeah, we'll talk it about was. that next. <laughs> for me, it was a far, far, far cry from where it was in June for me. It, I, I was going through the day and I was looking at our first escapade there on the 24th of June compared to where we were at on the 30th of December. And to me, it was, it was the difference between night and day day what was initially a situation where the majority of the people were ridiculing us not letting us have a civilized discussion about questioning what we've been taught has now turned into people reckon like you said robin people recognize the fact that we're there on a regular basis um we're constantly having new conversations with new people tourists passers by regulars that go to speakers corner for a discussion mm -hmm. and i felt like it was an incredibly effective use of time um mm -hmm. you know for the amount of diversity that we had from age range, culture, creed, background, 
um, you name it. We it's like a you know <laughs> a technicolor dream coat of uh, conversations. We had Anthony Riley there. We had Gary Heather there. Um, Ruben was there. Leo was there. Eco Dave was there. The other Lee was there. Um, e, um, uh, Dave Manor was there. Andrea was there. Um, and that's just the names I can take off the top of my head. There, there's also, as you know, Jason, there's there's other guys that have been going to Speaker's Corner for like five, six, seven years who have known this but haven't actually openly been discussing it like we have. Now we're there having the discussions. They're starting to come over and they're starting to say, yeah, do you know what? This is encouraging. You guys keep doing this, keep having this conversation. And like I said, if I'm looking back to, to June when we first went there, um, I think it was good that we had the numbers that we had on that first day, because I think if we hadn't had those numbers, we probably would have been heckled to the point where we quite possibly would have been demotivated. Um, so for me, it was a it was a win win situation for everybody, for, for those of us that were taking part, for those of us that were viewing. I think for everyone that's watched since we've gone to Speaker's Corner in the first place to now, everyone's witnessed that progression of conversations. Um, for, for those people that have followed since the first time we've gone there, you'll all see that as well. So for me, you're right, Jason, it was it was a nice end to a productive year. Um, yeah. So many things have been done last year. Um, and just to end it the day before New Year's Eve. And and, and there was other people, that, that couple, um, What Shape Is The World, his channel and his, his partner, um, they came to the, the bar after with us. And even the troll, he came to the bar after with us. <laughs> Um, and he was he was nice. He was a, a nice chap. Nice well, I, I can't. Well, I'm not a troll. I don't know if I should call him. Yeah, yeah. Well, I give him a hard time to begin with. I really did. You know, like I, uh, I, I was calling him for everything. You know, like um, a, a troll. But but no, he was he was you know fairly genuine. You know, um, we, we had a drink afterwards. Um, I had to apologise to him and shake his hand. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. I need a to. Good time was had by all a really yeah. good time was had by all so thank you so much to everybody that came out to speakers corner thank you everybody that came to the viewing of everyone's channels and took the time to be there in the chat room and support everything that was going on um i, I really appreciate the time because it was a long it was a long day it was a long day there's no getting away from it we were there for hours so thank you so much to everyone that supported it and we're going to continue to do that for 2019 the next one is going to be at the end of january last Sunday in January. I'll put more details about that as we go through. I'm going to try and get a little graphic made for it, actually, um, so I can share it a little bit easier. But we'll be there the last Sunday of every month, and we'll keep doing it until the conversation becomes a civilised conversation and socially accepted. End of story. So moving on to 2019, um, we've got three major events that are going on that we're involved in so far. And I'll say so far because it's early days. We're only in the first couple of weeks of January. That's, right. um, that's what we brought everybody here today to talk about. So for all of you in the chat room, we're now getting to the main bulk of this, this hangout that we're doing just now. Um, so guys, we probably should start with Birmingham and Kidderminster um, and the... the <laughs> The unveiling of what it is you're gonna you're gonna unveil to us, Jason. So at this moment, I'm gonna hand it over to the both of you. You can pick which one wants to start, but I think it's gonna be you, Jason, after after, after Robin. <laughs> Very you, good. Jason, after Robin. <laughs> Robin okay. If you kick us off there, please, darling. Uh, okay, I'll be I'll be brief uh, because a, a lot of people have heard about this already but let's just give you the highlights so on september the 13th to the 15th we've booked a fantastic venue called the pioneer center in kidderminster and it will include a friday night a saturday and a sunday where all the meals um accommodation and conference facilities are all taken on by the pioneer center and we've booked we've booked it and we have um capacity for two different halls one of 200 seats and one of 300 seats and we also have um, sleeping capacity for 320. We also have a, a day capacity of 500. That's, uh, you know, day visitors plus the, mm. the residents. Mm. And I've put together a schedule of speakers for the Saturday and the Sunday. And we've had some great people accept um, their invitation to speak. And I've promised to Didi and, and, and Gary that I will sort of slowly drip feed who's accepted those uh, invitations um because we're we're kind of co-hosting or partnering up with gary and Didi, who've also set up and booked their venue for the end of september in amsterdam Love so the, the the reason why we're going double header 
is because we see people might not be available for the mid-September, so they, they go off to Amsterdam, and there's those that might not be able to do Amsterdam, so they come to Birmingham. Mm -hmm. And between us, we, we're essentially putting on a choice for people, which is, I think is fantastic. Um, so my good friend Charlotte, who we've just uh, interviewed on our podcast, is, is, ha is, is helping uh, coordinate with me and doing all the admin. And we've just started to release information about the ticketing and the pricing. So if you want to go on to feconvention.com, you can click on either the Amsterdam or the Birmingham event, and you'll be able to see the ticket pricing. We've got discounts for children and discounts for uh, group bookings. So if you've got friends and you can club together with four of you, you'll get a, a sizable discount. And you know, children from, four, from zero to four go free. From four to 11, get half price. Sorry, uh, yeah, half price, and from 11 to 16, get 25% off. So um, it's super family friendly. There's foosball, table tennis, there's a basketball court outside, there's, there's a, even a five aside football court. So I'm going to, I've just got the forms in to which activities can we have for free, and I'll probably book the football court for a couple of sessions uh, for those who just want to, you know, chill out and, and maybe just sit out for an hour or do something in the evening <laughs> but uh, we'll have past we'll certainly have a party on the friday night and we'll have a party on the saturday night so i'm going to start booking and uh, looking at booking up a, a venue for that and yeah. which ties me nicely into the friday night and what friday could could all be about and i'm going to now pass the baton over to you jason because friday night is all yours and, <laughs> and of course I, it goes without saying roxanne that you're co-hosting with me at the at the event and um, so people will come and see you and I, you and I um, present yeah. and do, do, the, do the, the chair, if you like, around the mic in between presentations. But the Friday night is all yours, Jason and, and Roxanne, yeah. so I will pass, pass you over and you can introduce us to what's just about to happen. Right, I'm, um, I'm scared now. <laughs> <laughs> and it's over to you, Jason. Over <laughs> yeah. to you, darling. Um, at this Okay. At this point, I want to, I just want to make a quick disclaimer, just a quick one, just while we're here, health and safety and all that. Those of you that have any medical ailments, any pacemakers, <laughs> anything that's in, in, you know, you know, like when you go to a theme park and they say those are with medical ailments, like check yourself out, like take a moment. At this point, those of you that aren't sitting down that have medical ailments, please sit down, take a deep breath and brace yourself. Far away, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so um, I'm going to be talking about the tour. Um, a lot of people have been um, speaking to me about the tour. <laughs> and um, it, when's it happening? When's it happening? And, you know, yes. where's it going to be? And um, right, so I'm talking about the tour. So we've, um, when I say we, um, mm. I, um, I had a group chat with um, a few people because I already had the tour in mind and the dates and locations and things. Um, and uh, so I, I wanted to run it past um, some organizers of these conventions because they kind of might be able to fit something in. Um, anyway, so I, um, we had a group chat with, um, with uh, Robin, uh, Roxanne, Gary, Diddy, uh, Adam Meakin and um, uh, Anthony Riley, uh, Sleeping Warrior there. Um, so we, I run it across them, and it, it's um, I, I think we've got a thumbs up by them all, and um, uh, everybody's on board with, uh, uh, with with their full support, and everybody's quite excited. Mm. So what is it? Where are we going? Mm. What is it? What is it? Tell <laughs> right. us. <laughs> right, I'm not even going to sell you. Um, so <laughs> I, I need to screen share now, and I will uh, oh, present the tour. Um, well. So let's uh, let me screen share. No worries. Woo! Tell me if you can see. I will. One sec. Can still see you. Oh really? Yeah. Um, can still see you. Nearly, nearly. We're almost there. Yep, we're there. I can see an image of everybody now. Ah, Lovely. good. Yeah. Right. So you, uh, you see my desktop there, yeah? I sure do. Good, 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 good. And okay. will you do me a favour? Will what? you, um, will you uh, tell me when you stop presenting, just so I can um, hide the link and all that? Yes. Yeah. Perfect. Go for it, my darling. Um, here we go. Right. 
So anyway, so uh, it's, it's actually one of my favourite pictures. That is, um, that's that was our Me first, too. that was Me our too. first activism. Um, I, I just, you know, in speakers' corner. And what a happy was, bunch we are there, eh? Look at that. Yeah, yeah. Look at them smiles. It Aww. was great. I thought I treasure that um, moment for, uh, forever. It's brilliant. Me too. But anyway, moving on, moving on. That's what, what <laughs> you're failing. Um, let's see. It's it's just uh, shall I shall I and yes yes yes. Woo! The Globe Lie Euro Tour 2019, 14,278 miles, 39 countries, 64 destinations. At first glance, you look at that and you think, no, nah, that's not doable. It'll take you a bloody year to get around that. So can I'm, we do I'm it? Thinking, I'm thinking, where do I sign already? I'm just thinking, <laughs> where do I sign? So Wait, is it possible? Can you know? Can we do this? You know, like um, we've worked out the was it the how the mileage, the times, um, the route. Um, it, the route has been changed to accommodate certain things, and I will show you where. Let's see where it starts. It will start here. It starts down here um, at Oakhampton. But before it starts, I'm going to do a quick photo shoot at um, Haytor Rocks in Dartmoor, um, just for a quick photo shoot there. And then and then we're starting off in Oakhampton. I, I chose Oakhampton. It's just central from everywhere. It's not really that big, but hopefully some people come. You know, it's about the size of Glastonbury, I think it was. You know, like but we'll get a few good conversations, and it's kind of central in the middle of Devon and Cornwall there. And hopefully, you know, like people can join us. You know, at Oakhampton. Uh, when did it start? <laughs> so it starts on the 29th of August. Okay. Um, wow. a bit, I've given a lot of careful consideration for all these dates um, mm -hmm. so that it fits into certain things, which I'll be telling you in a second. So from there, we're off to Bridgewater. Um, mm -hmm. Bridgewater, the 30th. Uh, in fact, Every day is um, what's it, a new location, but I'll let you know. Uh, uh, there'll be days within that. Can I, ask, can I ask a question at this point? For everyone viewing, obviously, um, Robin has given the information out for the website for the FE conventions. Um, but are we going to be able to let everybody see in the description the dates, the locations? Can we can we have all that for everybody in the yeah. description? Yeah, so it's all done. I don't know if you can see that. Um, so yeah, everybody be uh, you, you you'll be able to download a print a printable one of the map and the dates. For all of you that are watching, just go over to the description of this video, and we'll have all of the links and information for you to click on, so that you've got all the information at your fingertips. Go on, go on, Jason. Okay. Carry on. Yeah. So um, uh, so I'm not going to read out the dates for each. It will be here forever, but you'll be able to um, download and see them dates. But every day should be a new uh, a new location, like we did last time. Um, although there is um, uh, about five or s about, so I think it's about six or seven day offs um, and that's just understandably so one thing you've got to make sure you do is not burn out Last yeah, well, time, yeah. any day off, right and it gives us a little bit of a leeway for uh, eventualities that were you know like that happened that you not expecting okay so from Bridgewater we're off to the Isle of Wight okay um, uh, so and then Isle of Wight we're, I'm just going to literally just read through this and uh, oops uh, Isla White, we're going to Milton Keynes, um, off to Norwich, um, off to Sheffield. We've done Sheffield before in the past, but not on the last tour. And, you, you know, like it's a big place, Sheffield. I'd like to do that again. Uh, off to Liverpool. And then we're going off to um, Sunderland. Car Carlisle, because we did Newcastle last time, so it's only fair that we do. Wow. <laughs> uh, off to Carlisle. Um, and then we're off to Edinburgh. And Glasgow. Um, I thought we did Edinburgh and Glasgow uh, on the tour, but I, I don't think we did in the end. I think we it was me we were meant to do it, so I don't know why we didn't. Um, then we're going to cross over the waters and uh, off to Belfast, uh, down to Dublin, and then we're going uh, to get the ferry across over on this uh, this way here, and we're going to do Cardiff. Uh, well, it's only one location in you know like because all the all the biggest places uh what's it in wales happen to be kind of swansea cardiff and um uh newport and that so we're just going to do cardiff um and then we're off to birmingham do a day in birmingham um, and then we're going to take three days off and we're going to go to the convention so got three Yay. days um and then we're going to support um what's it robin and uh as, as charlotte and uh we're going to spend some time at the um what's it at the Kidam I put down Kidderminster. It is kind of Kidderminster. I think it's always just outside Kidderminster. Um, so three days there. 
um, which is, as uh, Robin alluded to before, 13th, 14th and 15th of September, that is. Um, and J Jason, if I may interject, we, we're also going to do an activism workshop during that during the conference. So if you want to pick up the baton and help Jason along the way, but first of all, get some training, why not drop in on the 14th and uh, or book in for the conference in Toto and uh, come and get some training? There you go. Yeah, and I'll be there. Absolutely to, uh, brilliant. That. Do you know that's a wonderful idea? Absolutely wonderful. So we've got a, a long trip uh, from, um, which will probably be a, a day off at this point as well afterwards, because uh, the first part of the location will be uh, trying to, from Kidderminster, trying to go all the way to, and this is a huge um, trip, this is all the way to Bordeaux in France, okay? Um, oh, I just noticed I've got a little error there in my map. Um, I'll have to fix that later. Um, yeah, so Bordeaux in France. Um, and then we're off to Madrid. Oh, let me just come out a bit, a little bit too. Robin, I don't know about you, but I've, I've got like a million thoughts running through my head of how, how can I how can I abscond my normal life to do this? I don't, <laughs> I don't want to go on for sections. I want to do this trip. For me, already, this is like a trip of a lifetime. Well, I see the wine, I see the tapas. <laughs> yeah, but look how many cultures and how many backgrounds and how many ministries of education you're going to go through, go through all these different cities, just... Whoop. Yeah, so, yeah. Anyway, let me through it. That's okay. Uh, so we're off to Madrid, um, and then we're off to Lisbon, um, off to um, Gibraltar. Um, go and visit them. There's monkeys in Gibraltar, I believe. So I want to see them. Um, Valencia, and then Barcelona, um, and then there's Andorra. Oh, I haven't marked it in there. That we're meant to be going off to Andorra, and then to Marseille. Um, yes, yeah, so there will be a detour there. I don't know. Another mistake. I knew I'd find mistakes when I start. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. That's all right. That's all right. Um, and then we're off to, um, from Marseille, we're off to Monaco. I didn't realize that's a country on its own there. Um, uh, in Monaco, there, there's a little country there. Um, and then we're off to, um, and then we're off to Bern in Switzerland. Now, the reason that we've done it kind of that way, because we're trying to fit this in, because from there all the way, and this is a huge undertaking, this, um, which we'll be having a day off to do this um, trip, you know, like to get back. We're going to rush back to um, the Amsterdam Convention um, with Gary and Diddy. Um, uh, Diddy wow. uh, has expressed an interest who might want to do, um, what's it, um, oops, hang on, all of this part of the journey with I'm, me. I'm down for that as well. Are you up for taking me to, to Amsterdam? Because I'll roll with you, Jason, if that's the case. I can I'm, do that instead of getting Eurostar to Amsterdam. I'm, I'm, <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping um, this should be, um, uh, uh, I don't know, three or four of us in the camper van at all times, you know, like throughout the whole trip. So, um, so yeah, I mean, like, um, I'll be asking for, you know, for a lot of help, isn't that, you know, like to experience this with us and, um, uh, great if people know um uh, languages you know like that because that, that's going to be our but we're going to be we'll talk about that in a second but yeah. anyway we're off yeah. to uh what's it amsterdam um and then we'll be doing the three days at that convention but we'll also be doing um amsterdam itself um some actually as well um and then from there we'll be we'll be doing a little back leg on ourselves we're going to go to brussels first and then and then we're off to hamburg um and then we're off to denmark copenhagen and then we're oh, going wow. all the way up there to Oslo and Norway. Oh. Going off to Stockholm, Sweden. And then crossing over. Wait, 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 wait. What's the stop at? What, what, where are we, where's, where, where's in between? What is that in between Stockholm and, and Turku? What is that set of islands in the middle? Uh, yeah, I don't know. But uh, the ferry stops there, apparently. Um, yeah. So what? Say that again? Uh, the, the ferry that takes us over, it does, it makes a stop there and then it carries what on. What is that place called? Can you zoom in for a sec? What is that called? Uh, it's a Maryham. Maryham. Okay. Yeah, Love yeah. it. Love it. So from Love there, it. we're off to um, Helsinki in Finland. Lovely. And then we come to Tallinn in Estonia. Riga in oh, wow. Latvia. I bet I'm not pronouncing half of these correctly, but... Um, oh. We're off to uh, uh, was it uh, Phil, Vilnius in Lithuania. Um, from there, we're off to Warsaw in Poland, Berlin in Germany, and there the, wow. may be better routes than that. You know, like so things might get 
change slightly. Um, it might be a streamlining of the route at some point, but instinctively, this this is kind of the, the blueprint of what's happening. Yeah, yeah. That's. I, 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 th yeah. I think we're on the right tracks. On you know. Oh yeah. Way. I think I'm, I'm right. sorry. I'm just gobsmacked at what I'm. 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 <laughs> I don't know about you, Robin, but <laughs> whoa. I don't, can we? Can we just can we just breathe for a second? Because I feel like the the, the you know as well as the chat room, it's okay. Breathe, everyone. Uh, take, you know, it's okay. Uh, exhale and breathe. And uh, and I'm, I need to sip my tea at this point. I'm glad this is the second time I've seen it, Jason, because the first time there were yeah. there were some expletives in them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Blimey is is is, uh, is just very mild. Blimey. Yeah. So anyway, so we're we're off to uh, Prague then and uh, Czechia. Um, wow. And then we're off to Bratislava. Bratislava. I was Slavia. I thought it was Bratislava um, in Slovakia. Um, and then making up. Oh wait, hold on. We're Look, going through Hungary. We're going. Through, we're going through Hungary. Yeah. You know what that means, guys. It, you yeah. know what that means. Romania and Hungary. Listen to all my Hungarian and Romanian counterparts. Get the palenka ready. Just get the palenka ready. Diminata. It's all love. I need some palenka in my life. I don't know what that is, but I take it's drink, is it? I'll tell you what, for those of you that don't know, um, answers in the chat room. Yes, it's it's the drink of all drinks. It's Sorry, not I, I, I thought it'd be alcohol or somewhere. We, we got, actually, uh, we, you know what? It's actually considered medicine, not alcohol. <laughs> it's the best kind of medicine going. Ooh. I always tell the wife that. I always say it's, uh, what's it, medicine? Yeah. So yeah. we're up to Moldova uh, after that. Um, uh, what's, what's it called? Uh, Chis, Chis, oh, see, I can't pronounce half of these. Chisnau, no, now. Um, and then we're off to uh, Bucharest. And oh, sorry, okay. not Bucharest. We're going through Bucharest. Uh, in fact, okay. no, no. Uh, yeah, no. I'm gone. Sorry. Let me just think. I think we are off yeah. to Bucharest. Yeah, yeah. Bucharest, the main city there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, Stop yeah. Bucharest, yeah. Sorry, yeah, I lost, I lost track there for a second. Mm -hmm. And then we're off to uh, Belgrade in Serbia, okay. um, and then we'll come around here. Uh, we're doing a quick detour to, um, uh, I, I believe that was Kosovo. There, I think that's Kosovo. I've lost me. Uh, yeah, I think that's. Is it that's right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lovely, yeah. lovely, lovely. Yeah. I can just see a few mistakes on the map. I'll have to deal with them later. Um, right. And then we're going down to um, Scope, Scope J, Scope. G, Scope, Scop G in Macedonia. Um, I think before I go on this trip, I think I need to learn how to pronounce all of this. <laughs> so we're off to Sof Sofia it's in Bulgaria. an interesting Bulgaria. flag, there, isn't it, guys? Very interesting flag. Yeah. To me, that looks like the sun and perspective on a flat plane. But anyway, just saying. <laughs> that looks like lines of convergence yeah. on a flat plane. But anyway, moving so on. <laughs> from Bulgaria, we're making our way all the way down to Athens in Greece. Mm. Um, that's going to be a trip and half that one um, and then we're making our way all the way back up to Albania um, I did see we're in Albania and then we're off to um, oh, I've, 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 give us a second I must get I must read this there before Sarajevo uh, so in that it's sorry what did you say there is stop off before Sarajevo between Albania. And yeah, yeah. I'm just getting to it. so uh, on Albania. Uh, that's a uh, Tirana. It's called um, my maps. My flag seems to have um, been hiding it. Um, yeah. And then we're off to um, what's it? Pod Podgora. This place here. That's uh, Monte Montenegro. That is. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then we're off to Sar Sarajevo uh, in Bosnia. Um, from there, we're making our, our way up to Zagreb in um, Croatia, um, and then we're go into another word that i can't pronounce um i'm terrible i am at these words um it's called look it is in slovenia uh, slovenia and it's called la job jana la job jana i think it, it's hidden behind it behind there somewhere uh, no but from there um we're going to drop in at venice um it it, it, it kind of smells a little bit in the summer, so hopefully by the time we get there on yeah. um, 31st of October, it will smell better, because I've only been once, and it was, oh, God, I, I, I've got a problem with smells. <laughs> and it stinks. Yeah. You're very sensitive to the smellies, aren't you? Yeah, yeah it does. It stinks. But, yeah, <laughs> hopefully uh, it, it does. It, it, it will quieten down that smell later. Um, and then we're off to um, San Marino in uh, in. Uh, 
well, I was going to say in Italy, but San Marino is a country all by itself. Um, and I'm hoping you're going to tell me there's some days off coming soon now. Well, there is a day off around here, because, um, and we've been uh, was it invited to um, hang out with um, Adam Meekin. He, he's got family that, that lives there. So that... I'm just going to call him Awesome Adam. He's, he's, <laughs> he's the he yeah. is the AA, Awesome Adam. Well, uh, from there, we're going to go to Rome. Um, we're only doing one in Rome. Um, right. you, you could argue and say, well, there is another country there. Um, you know, the Vatican City, isn't they? Um, it's meant to be a country all by itself. But we, I doubt we'd get permission to go in there and start putting up our banners and all that. Although I'll have a go. <laughs> it's funny with all the talk of this um, American border and the wall, everyone that's against it. But yet yeah, they have walls in the Vatican. They have, you know, they've built walls everywhere in the past and it's you know no one blinks an eyelid it's that's crazy. right um mm -hmm. from there we're off to pisa and um, it'd be great if we can get close to there with our banners and that um uh, you know we'll, we'll see it. um and then we're off to milan um going all the way up to milan here um and then from milan 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 we're off to uh lichtenstein, Lich uh, lichtenstein. Is, yeah uh, Fadol's from Liechtenstein, um, and then we're off to Munich. In uh, it, it, it's a shame that you know, like it, it doesn't land on the dates for the Munich festival. I would have loved to have done that, but anyway, oh, that, awesome. uh, that would have been good. And then from there, we're off to Frankfurt in Germany, and then we're right. off to Luxembourg, um, which is Luxembourg city in Luxembourg. Um, and then, um, just as it comes to the last two locations, um, we thought we'll, we'll kind of finish off with uh, with Paris. Um, here and then take a day off, you know, like to uh, get ourselves uh, for the finale and finish in London, you know. So we'll be doing London as well. Wow, and taking wow. a breath. Wow. Yeah. So, as I say, I mean, like that. It comes down to um, fourteen thousand two hundred and seventy-eight miles, thirty-nine countries, sixty-four destinations, um, and giving you a little idea on the dates. There's your dates. There. I don't know if you can see that. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. So wow. for those for those only listening at the moment, we'll we'll pop these in the show notes. Yeah, yeah. And Jason, your passport needs about twelve extra pages for this. You know that, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. I'll have to. Uh, I'll have to be in touch with them over that and see uh, what happens then. Um, I mean, that there's uh, <laughs> monumental, Jason. That's absolutely monumental. I'm. I'm. I mean, I'm dumbstruck. Actually, I'm blown away yeah no yeah way. it's uh, we've, um, i mean oops uh oh. we stop sharing now okay well actually i'm not sure that's going to be a problem the reason for that is this is pre-recorded so no one's going to be able to bomb this because it's going to have already been done just thought about right. that Yes. Jason, I'm really inspired. I mean, it really inspired me. What an amazing vision you have. And um, all I can say is I salute you for having the guts to do this. But also, uh, you know, all things happen because someone has an idea. You, you know, everything yeah. around you is created by someone's original thought. You know, they think, well, that's a good idea. I'm going to act on that idea. Most people put those kind of scary, audacious ideas on the shelf and go, too big for me. But no, mate, absolutely knocked it out of the park. And uh, huge, huge applause for you, mate. It's absolutely brilliant. Wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful. So we've been given the graphic, right? We've been given the graphic of the map. I'm sure we're in the chat room anyway, so we're facilitating with all your questions that you've got in the chat room. Um, we've, we've got some questions. Obviously, we have questions. We have questions. Um, um, size of the camper van um facilitating people to get involved how are we going to go about that can you i mean are we going to use yeah. the my website are they going to be able to communicate with us through one avenue um i'm sorry yeah. i've got a few questions i do have them okay. listed. Well, let, me deal with them. Let, let me deal with them first and i'm not writing things down <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, so like, um, what's it? The website we've got the Facebook uh, website, uh, Globe Lie, uh, on on Facebook, and we've also got um, the globe globelie.co.uk website as well. Uh, we'll be using that. Um, so links will be in the description, I imagine. I was going to say as well: is it 
possible to have this information on the Globe Life Convention section of their website as well, Robin? Um, as and when yeah. are available and and can That's you right. merge it in with that? Is that is that doable? Yeah, yes, of course. Yeah, there is a link already on the uh, feconvention.com website, Lovely. which which goes nowhere currently. But when we switch it on, um, we'll either post. I think it's probably safest to redirect you to Jason's website, so he's got one one administration centre that he's totally in control of. And I was going to ask just one more thing before I forget. Um, sorry, with all the millions of questions, and yeah, I probably should have um, taken my time a little bit with this, but I've just something's just struck me with the website that I thought would be brilliant for the tour. You know, on the Globe Live Convention section where you've got the kind of darked out images and no one's been put into that image yet. Mm -hmm. Would it be possible to have like maybe a, not maybe a spreadsheet, but something representative like that. So that as the slots get filled up on a weekly basis on the Globe Live tour, mm -hmm. um, if, you know, if people don't want to release their image and, and their name and stuff, Stuff, maybe we can find a way to do it anonymously wise so that publicly people can see the slots getting taken up on the tour so that people have an optic on okay on on week three the camper van's completely chocker everyone's already booked up slots on that week six weeks six. does that make sense mm -hmm. so that we don't have to keep regurgitating and maybe emulate the same thing on the globe light or website, on the yeah. Globe yeah. website mm -hmm. as well, so that we can fill those spots for people great idea. um i think it Yep. I love the way it's been done in the, the the conventions where you've got all these dark out images and the ones that have been confirmed have been put in and the rest have been left blank just now until they get filled in. Does that make sense? Mm. Sorry for being... No, no, that's a brilliant. Way. Great idea. We'll do that. I think it would be a useful optic because then within one click, people can just physically see are there any silhouettes left on any given weeks and then they can pick and choose as they need. Yeah. Um, but that brings me to those questions as well. So I'll shut up. Well, yeah, no, no, I mean, like this is what the, the unexpected thing that um, Global Eye UK did for us. Um, it allowed us to um, to meet these um, new, uh, what's it, new global de deniers, flat earthers, stroke flat earthers. Uh, it allowed us to meet all of these people. Um, and it, this is what we're hoping to achieve with um, with the Euro trip, is to is to bring all of the uh, Europeans. You know, like we, uh, we don't know them. I mean, like uh, I was introduced to a channel the other day. Uh, what's it called? Mex. Um. Yeah. Effie and Mex, Sasha and Alexandra and the rest of the guys. The um. They're awesome. They're awesome. They're over in Eastern Europe. So go. I mean, like, so so there is yeah. flat earthers out there, and oh, we don't gosh, know yeah. them. We don't know who they are, and uh, it'd be great if we can, if we can, uh, what's it, bring everyone from Europe and you know, like, into the spotlight and say, look, you know, it's not just the UK here. I mean, like, this is worldwide. You know, we're all in this together. Well, that that that's what I got from you when you were talking about first engineering. This is that if you go to all the capital cities, you're only going to ever be within a few hundred miles of people that are in those retrospective countries. And where we've been online now for a while and, and other people that have been online for even longer will know full well how many people are spread out across Europe. Um, the silent majority is a lot. And there's a lot of people that have come out to us at Speakers Corner and everywhere that we went on the Globe Live Tour that said, actually, I, I, I'm not really up for going in the comments section. I'm not really that kind of person online, but I really wanted to come out and, and be a part of this and, and be involved in some way. So I feel that that's going to be emulated all across Europe, all across these capital cities. Language barrier, I don't feel, is the, the monumental barrier that everyone thinks it is. Um, you know, researching tourist destinations in their own right shows that language barrier is not an issue, um, especially when you use the optics that we do. Um, I think the optics that we use with a little bit of revamping by themselves go through all of those barriers. You don't need words when you're using optics. Um, yeah. And like you said, um, well, let me, let me just get the door. Carry on, darling. Go on. I think, um, I think all we need to do really is, um, it is within the new banner format that we'll be doing, which will be mostly images, and then we've, um, we'll, be, we'll be have an interchangeable um, uh, velcroed PVC ba uh, little tiny banners that will be uh, uh, superimposed over the main banner for different countries. Yes. You know, very like, good. Uh, yeah, we, we thought we'd do something like that, but look, uh, uh, that's what Roxanne just said. Then I mean, like, we'll be going to all these countries and that, and meeting um, other flat earthers around uh, the whole of Europe. Um, uh, 
most of these people already speak to the two languages, you know, like, and uh, they're going to be on hand to help us along the way. And uh, hopefully the, the people that we're looking for to help us on this journey is a, a you know, that you want to roll your sleeves up and, and get stuck in with uh, some activism and that you uh, don't mind a bit of driving um, to do. Um, it'd be great, even better that you can speak a language in the country that you want to join us on. Um, mm. Even better. Mm. Um, so there's a couple of other shout outs for a bit of help, Jason. I remember Anthony's kindly agreed to do some editing, but wouldn't it be good to have someone doing a spotting of uh, conversations uh, like during a live stream that you hold? What was the hour and the minute and the brief synopsis of the conversation that gets Great had? Idea. Great because idea. Um, it's, it's time consuming and loads of us are consuming this content, but how easy would it be just to jot down the minutes? Oh, that was a good conversation. Uh, yeah. That was roughly 10 minutes in. It was five minutes long. And it was a, a gentleman who, I don't know, was a scientific background. It was interesting. That sort of note taking would be very useful to the team. Um, we're also putting a shout out with someone who likes admin, who's trustworthy and we can get to know obviously in good time, but who might want to do a bit of bookkeeping, i.e. when Jason has a receipt, we email it off to you, you record it on the spreadsheet, it gets stored on yeah. the cloud, and then we have our books all done for, for Jason whilst he's driving or the team are driving. And then um, potentially, I guess, Jason, you, you, you'd be quite happy to have someone doing route planning, driving, parking, and taking that off of you altogether, I guess, wouldn't you? Yeah, that's right. I, I mean... I just ask a real quick question. This might sound silly, but I, I, I was thinking if there is a couple of projects that do live, um, um, what are they called? You know, like a, a live update of the um, budget spending. So as we're, as we're doing it, is there a way for us to use an app or technology so that we can actually give that transparency to people live as we go? Mm, is there a totally. way for us to, I yeah. mean, obviously, we wouldn't necessarily want to, um, you know, with receipts and stuff, it will actually say the garage that you're at, on the road that you're on, in the destination that you are. So I think obviously there would be a, you know. No, a no, literally, I think um, we can we can just put it on a, an Excel spreadsheet and online and then you can share that to the world. Um, the, world live, the world can't edit it, but, um, but they can see it. Live as we go, instead of having to wait to the end of the actual tour yeah, to yeah. work out where we're at with things. Um, yeah. And I think that might be a bit more user friendly for us as well and leave less work for everybody at the end when everybody knows where we're at concurrently through the tour in the first place. Uh, just an idea. Just an yeah, idea. No, no, no. It's brilliant. Um, uh, yeah, I, I, was just, I was just thinking that, um, which kind of brings us on to um, uh, funding and uh, money, the money side if we're talking about um, uh, bookkeeping and that. Um, yeah. Uh, the things that we that we want that we want help with um, this time is it, it really is um, the receipts are really clear and, and easy to um, to understand. It it, it really is it, it's help with fuel, help with um, what's it the uh, camper van, um, campsite parking, YouTube. Um, there will be tolls and uh, maybe some insurance. Um, I can't really think of anything else, but there may be other things that we might need help for. Um, I, I will. I'm hoping to, you know, like by then um, to donate an awful, uh, I, I have a, a set in mind, a set in mind that I would like to put into the whole tour as well. Um, we won't be asking anyone to pay for our food or drink. Um, I, I just, uh, I, 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 I have a bad, uh, I, I would feel, uh, what's it, um, awkward about taking um uh, what's it help or you know money from people you know like to, uh, because last time we got we, we got given so much money for food and and drink and things and it, it was donated and i you know like and it, yeah it, it, it that's that's a a better way of doing it rather than just give us what's it cash for food and drink you know like and then and then you guys see us all there drinking having a party no I, if you see me it was it eating or drinking uh it's because i paid for it myself yeah uh, and yeah. the other thing is the other thing is if, if there's people on the route own on the tour as well i didn't i didn't use any of the donate i mean I, I paid paid my way so whatever i was eating and drinking was out of my own pocket as well yeah. the other thing is those people on the journey who might be close to the route or willing to come out and you know either they, you've got some accommodation nearby that might be useful or some something that might give yeah. additional respite for jason you know clean shower I've had, I've had a couple of people in touch with me from oslo 
Have saying you? that go through Oslo, they want to come out and link us to to fill up the tank. So nice. it's just people want to come and link us just to put fuel in at that stage. So. Awesome. Um, you know, all kinds of help like that would be greatly appreciated. Even if you want to come and meet us out on the road and follow us to to wherever it is to to top up, and and you want to physically see that happen, thumbs up. Does that make sense? Um, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, that's, that's brilliant. That's excellent. Uh, as I say, I mean, like there's um, and then you got Adam Meekin is going to help out. You know, like for a bit of respite there as well. And yeah. um, d d d d we're putting this uh, we're putting this out now, and like there'll be. Uh, or is it uh, once probably every month or something until we get going um and, and you'll probably find that uh, the amount of more help that's all put in place it'll all come um yeah, yeah so uh, i think um as regards to funding we're going to uh, set up the um the, the, the same gofundme account um and, and paypal uh, we're, we're not going to be doing patreon um uh, we found that that was um we we got some amazing help through pay, Patreon and all that, but we've, we it, it wasn't helpful the actual format of Patreon. You know, like it, it was really hard to try and get money out of them. It was difficult. Patreon is we found. Mm -hmm. um, so GoFundMe and uh, PayPal will be set up. Um, we're hoping. Um, can I tell them about this? Uh, about well, you know, it's too late because I'm I'm not asking you. Yeah. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> I said this offline. Um, I mean, there has been talk, you know, like uh, I mentioned, you know, like uh, from uh, one or two possibilities of um, of someone uh, was it maybe coming around with us, uh, um, you know, in a documentary um, sort of way, possibly. You know, nothing's confirmed, nothing's in writing. Um, we, yeah, just whispers at the moment. We're just talking. Um, uh, and if that is the case, you know, like we're hoping that they would fund, you know, help uh, towards the funding. Yeah um you it's know really like a lot of the the cost issues and they would get the content that they want so like it's very early days like jason said it's almost whispers at the moment but yeah. this space because if, if there is going to be content made it'll be honest content it will be it'll be the same more or less content that you guys see as streaming live um except yeah. it possibly may be pitched to to uh, uh, you know something other than online streaming well, I, I, getting on to the live streaming, um, I think um, there'll be three formats of live streaming. Um, we'll, we'll have the hangouts of, of the evening, you know, like like we did last time. We'll also be doing um, was it streaming um, on the day, or, you know, the activism type of streaming. Um, but I'm hoping, you know, like even on the journey to get into these places, we'll be doing the odd uh, snippets of streaming, you know, like on, you know, uh, the journey so that you can you can come along for the journey so to speak you know like and see where we're going and meeting people and that so we're hoping to include everybody in on this uh, huge undertaking huge journey um yeah. obviously i have to take time out of work for this you know i'll be working all year um yeah. you know like to to help fund this as well and um and and, and then uh, and then packing in my job just before i start again <laughs> So yeah, so it's a big commitment to, um, and obviously I, I, I won't be, um, I, I won't be earning any. It, there'll be no work for me. I won't be earning any money. So like, uh, to, uh, to devote all my time for Europe is, I, I see this as uh, one of the biggest um, bits of noise that I could possibly make. You know, like for flat Earth at the moment, uh, I can't think of anything bigger. Just a question, because I know the chat room is probably going to have their concerns about you being on the road for so long. Um, given how arduous the, the Globe Light Tour was the other time. Um, but the one thing I do want to ask you is with, with your, the profession that you're going to be doing, I, I take it you're going to rack up a few thousand miles of solo driving a truck, or, or are you looking to do doubles when you go to trucking, or are you looking to do just solo? thing is, uh, like, I don't know if you, you're all aware of it now, um, I, I'm actually... Um my new job now is uh what's it uh, uh hgv driving uh articulated lorry driving and that um so that's my new job so i i, I take it be time that this all starts you know like um it, it, all this driving will be on you know within my stride anyway it's like just right. kind of what i do and you know right. so but yeah i i'd imagine um on some of the there is some long journeys you know like that are over six hours um yeah. and kind of like yeah we probably could do with a, a second driver you know like to give us a hand on certain locations you know like off the tour yes i'll be doing most of the driving um well, will your license need any classifications for the vehicle that's being used on the actual tour 
no, special... well, yeah, my, that's right. My, my my license is okay, uh, but I think is it a class uh, uh, a class B? I think it is. Um, that the camper van is over three and a half ton. I think it is. Okay. Um, so yeah, so anyone who joins us and, and wants to do a bit of driving. <laughs> Um, yeah, we'll have to look into your license and make sure that you're okay to drive it. Um, it's a seven-seater camper van. Um, it's uh, we've learned by our mistake. We tried to do it on the cheap last time, and it cost us uh, cost us uh, a week's worth of breaking uh, breaking down. Um, we, we, we and missed... high fuel costs. So we'll yeah, yeah, that's it. It cost us money out of it. Uh, it was it was in the end. We've we've learned yeah. by our, our uh, you know like. Um, uh, mm. essence you know like that we're not going to do that again we, we want a reliable camper van this time um yeah. i think that's the way to go um and the problem is because it's a reliable camper van people will be saying oh yeah you know like look, look how luxurious this camper van is and it, it just is what it is you know we want something reliable yeah. there's not much we can do yeah. about it well said well said so i can imagine the chat room um i've got questions that they want to ask and as I said we're in the chat room with you all to facilitate those questions and this is just the first kind of step of, of talking about this and, and letting you guys know this is happening so this is very much a blueprint and some of these details that we're giving you today could be subject to change I definitely want to put that out there because like you said there could be some streamlining done um, there could be suggestions that are given to you that are complete and utter changes of the goalposts, so to speak so um, we definitely want to let you know that this is the first blueprint that Jason's releasing with this tour collaboratively with the Global Eye Convention and the convention in Amsterdam. So these these events are all intertwined with each other, um, if, if, if you will. One, one you know, in, in turns the same. So this tour is going to, you know, as Jason said, it's going to start, include the first convention, which is all about the tour, and everything that comes with it and then overlap the second convention and carry on from there on in. So um, between August and November, we've got more or less cons 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 consistent activities going on, which then end just a stone's throw from the international ones going on in uh, America and Canada. Mm, amazing. Yeah. It's called momentum. That's huge momentum. Mm -hmm. And I believe there's the one in New Zealand as well that Dave Marsh, I think, is going to mm -hmm. um, earlier on in the year. So there's, 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 there's bits and pieces even before this as well. So I just wanted to put that out there and just let everybody know that one in turns the other. So, you know, you can, you can be at one of these conventions and join the tour. It's going to be at both of these conventions. So um, just remember that, please. Just remember that. Also, if I uh, might add... Um, Although what's it? Um, we're not doing as many dates, uh, many locations in the UK. Um, this is a long time, a long way away. 29th of um, August, the first um, location, the first date um, starts. Um, so up until that uh, date, um, chances are that we would have already um, gone round uh, a lot of these locate, a lot of other locations around the UK anyway. Um, so just to keep that in mind, if you feel like that. You, that we're not getting close enough to your location um hopefully we might do in this in the summer and you know like you know until then we'll see awesome mm. awesome i'm excited i'm very excited and um i believe you guys after this you're going straight over to um sun and moon for boys night mm -hmm. so in the chat room um as soon as we wrap this <clears throat> hangout up um, I would strongly suggest you get over to Sun and Moon um, because the boys are going to be joining Karen and a, a good few other guys because I think I haven't, I haven't heard of Boys Night before, so this should be interesting. I mean, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> yeah, if, if you figure out some more questions to ask us, grab us, o grab us over there. Yes, yes. And I, I just want to say again, we've recorded this to premiere with you because we genuinely wanted to pay full attention to the chat room because of the enormity of all the information that's being poured out by us like now. Um, we thought to do this live and to try and pay attention to you all in the chat room would have just been a step too far. So mm -hmm. we wanted to record this and, and right now I'll let everybody know it's just coming up to five o'clock in the day. Um, and you know, I hope we've been able to be helpful in the chat room just now. But like Jason said, if anything hasn't been answered or or explained clearly enough, by all means ask Robin and Jason over in Boys Night um, on Karen's channel. I'll put the link in the chat room for you now so you can click it 
and go over. Um, and yeah, go for and it. If, and if you're hearing this after the event, like you're replaying the premiere or you're listening on the podcast, then yeah. what's the best email address to get hold of you, Jason? Mm, mm. Um, it, it, it can be uh, Jason at uk or Roxanne at UK or even Robin at globaleye.co.uk. You Lovely. can get us on either of them um, and yeah, we'll receive it. Fantastic. Okay. That's so user friendly. Thank you. That's brilliant. Um, we'll have all of those links in the description. And as Robin said, you know, if you're listening to this after the after the fact and, and not on the day, please do use the description box because we're going to put all of the links and all of the information that we have just now to hand for you to be as helpful as possible. Um, and we will, like Jason said, we'll, we'll between the podcasts and everything else we're doing, we'll maintain giving you regular updates. Um, but we do suggest that you go over to the FE Convention website, go to the Globe Live website, um, because the, the live updates for any of this information, you'll see them there first. Um, and then they'll be reiterated on these live hangouts and, and when you see us on other hangouts. Um, and have I missed anything out there, Robin? No, I think you've covered it. And um, that's absolutely great. There is a Facebook group for for Jason's Globe Live. Mm -hmm. so that's the that's called Globe Live Facebook group. Yeah. There's also there's also a private group for the FE convention. So if you search for Globe Lie uh, Convention 2019, you'll do a Facebook group. You can join that, we'll accept you in, and there's various broadcasts in there, and you can interact with your community. Yeah, I think uh, I think also um, in the description as well, which I'll I'll pass on uh, some links to uh, for uh, Roxanne to put in the description. Uh, you'll be able to download uh, the uh, the map and the tour dates. Um, you'll be able to download them as well. Oh, sorry, I had myself on mute there. I was talking away to myself. That's lovely. We'll have all of those in the description. I want to thank you all for being here with us this evening while we go through the ins and outs of the Globe Light Tour, the Globe Light Convention, and letting you know about the Amsterdam one as well. Um, guys, thank you very much. Chat room, thank you very much. Um, we're now going to wrap it up for this evening and let you guys get off and and sort yourselves out before later on on, on uh, boys' night. So thank you. You're very welcome. Thanks for listening. <laughs> Wunderbar. All right, my darlings, and to everyone in the chat room, we shall see you next time. Take care. Bye.